A warm and enthusiastic welcome to all of you. Today is a day filled with excitement and inspiration as we have a very special guest amongst us whose impact knows no boundaries. It is our honor and pleasure to introduce a true powerhouse of motivation and positivity, Mr. Avad Oja, to light the ceremonial lamp. my colleagues, and of course, our dear children. As Varshika said, yes, it is a day filled with tremendous expectation and excitement uh, because we have in our midst today a very special individual, a person who has been an inspiration for people around the world. And we are extremely fortunate that he is here today uh, to share his experiences, his wisdom with us um, and give us, of course, a sense of direction. Thank you, Mr. Ojha, for being here. Thank you, Mrs. Ojha. It's such a delight to see both of you here. And um, I deem it an honor and a privilege to introduce Mr. Ojha to all of you here. Well, Mr. Ojha is an individual uh, who is extremely dynamic. He's blessed with a very magnetic personality. And he has a reputation of being a very charismatic speaker, a charismatic individual, and a person who has the ability to connect immediately with his audience. And I think that is something which we're all looking forward to, and that is something which we shall see now. Having traversed the length and breadth of the world, Mr. Oja brings a unique perspective on various issues like empowerment, self-empowerment, personality development, and achieving success in life. And his message of empowerment resonates deeply with everyone he encounters. And he inspires them to believe strongly in themselves, to believe very strongly in the potential which each individual here and everywhere in the world is endowed with. Uh, Mr. Ojha's journey is extraordinary. It's very interesting. It is an extraordinary journey. And he has overcome tremendous hurdles and challenges in his own life. And in doing so, he has triumphed and he has been this beacon of hope for so many who have also faced adverse circumstances. And he has inspired people to rise above these circumstances and to uh, create their happiness, create their own space in this world. His words have the power to touch the hearts of everyone, young and old alike. And um, what he says resonates with each one of us with respect to dreams and aspirations that we all wish to fulfill. We truly are privileged to have Mr. Ocha here with us. We look forward to his empowering message, which I'm sure will give us all a sense of direction. 
and help us uh, realize our dreams and our ambitions. Mr. Oja, on behalf of the entire Ecol fraternity here, I extend a very warm welcome to you. Thank you, Sukeshi, which brings out the innermost feelings. It depicts the cultural aspects of civilization. In India, it is believed as a form of worship or yoga through which a dancer can reach the Almighty. As we begin our program, we are honored to have a group of talented students showcase some amazing performances. So, let us witness this beautiful display of devotion.
hearty good afternoon to respected principal vice principal and all the honorable teachers sitting here plus all my daughters sitting here the first term i want to use is mesmerized mesmerized by your performance here amazing performance amazing a big hand to all for all those people who are performing here mesmerized wonderful i am here to interact with you it's very challenging to speak in front of teachers all the honorable teachers are sitting here so there is a saying in hindi ghar ki murghi dal barabar in english we say ki self possessions are undermined whatever i am going to say from here all your teachers will say these things to you throughout your journey here but you will not listen you know why you will not listen because they are your teachers you know what is the happiness for a teacher is not his or her salary dronachar is immortalized till today immortal people remember him for what for his student named arjun every teacher searches arjun throughout his or her life so i want all of you to give a big hand to all your teachers sitting here so it's very challenging to speak in front of the teachers and it's also challenging to speak in front of ladies they generally don't listen there is a reason why they don't listen it's a simple it's a very simple reason women are the representatives of god on earth simple if you understand and you respect them you see any society in the world any community in the world any nation you cannot tell me a single nation a single society which is on the highest of its achievement without giving a respectable position to women do you remember any nation any community acha which you think is the most powerful and strongest country in the world india us what made us as a strong and a great country ah great please please get up get up get up get up just get up don't worry don't worry what do you think is the reason that us is the powerful and strongest country in the world in one word one word economy, economy. any example of that no Why? Why America is a powerful and strongest country? Ah, oh, correct. Any example? Any uh, example to corroborate it? Apple. Apple. You heard Apple, na? The iPhone. China. Which product is the counterpart of Apple in China? One Plus. by the name of the commodities you can see the economic status of the nation if you want to simply give the marks you can take the product of a nation i have got many words here you performed on hanuman ji and uh, prabhu ram and then you performed on uh, shri krishna and arjun and then you performed on parvati and shiva i'll take the points from there only education 
but it will be a complete interaction you have to speak ha huh, i left that point ki why you cannot speak in front of a woman i said women are representatives of god on earth there are two women in every man's life compulsorily one is mother she spoils if a person lives under the guidance of a mother for 25 years he especially he leave the she especially he is completely exploited misbehaves etc etc and then after 25 when he is married the second woman comes into his life wife and the biggest role of the wife is to civilize a man a mother comes with a plate of food and the son throws away ki every day sabzi i'll not eat sabzi and mother goes back and brings back the another plate but when the man repeats the same story with the wife when he throws the plate the woman slaps and sits on the chest and ki you idiot i am dying throughout the day and you are throwing the plate woman is on civilizing mission if you see a male eating something in a restaurant especially dosa he will use the hands he will use bare handedly but in case he is sitting with a woman or a girl then you see how decently he takes the knife and the fork and all this is the importance of women so it's always challenging to speak in front of teachers and women but then the third pressure on me is here it's a big pressure all my three daughters are sitting here and they have said to me ki papa bejti mat karana papa <laughs> and wherever there is expectation there is a pressure but i am here to tell you the four noble truths of education you all are highly blessed that you are living in a boarding school completely dedicating your life for education highly some of you must disagree with me i know that because you have left the comfort zone of your houses and your parents but i tell you ladies it's a very important part of your life and you are in a very good place a very excellent place and it's in your hand to shape up your life kaise now in our country especially education means percentage achieving a percentage is a good thing it's not bad if you're getting a good percentage it's definitely it's your performance it's excellent you should strive for it second thing which the country thinks about education is that education means employment no education is neither percentage it's nor employment then what is education i'll give you example i'll narrate a story you heard about birbal yes sir nahi darana bhi nahi hai itna bhi nahi chillana birbal was the courtier of akbar so when for the first time birbal comes to the court of akbar to get a job he was from a common background and in pre modern india the people of common background were not allowed to get a job in a court royal court only people from the royal families were allowed to get a job in royal court and birbal was from a common background so all the royal people sitting in his court were against this all of them but bar akbar was adamant akbar was aware about the qualities of birbal listen it properly there is a gift for all of you if you answer the question so birbal was from a common background and uh, akbar wanted him to be in his court but it was against the tradition so now akbar said to his courtiers ki is there any chance to admit him here so there was a priest called mulla do pyaja it's a name 
वो प्याज खाने वाला आदमी नहीं था तो ही रेजर्स इज हैड एंड सेज टू अकबर की सर आई अलाउ हिम टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्ट इफ ही आंसर माई क्वेश्चन तो अकबर आज बीरबल की आर यू रेडी टू आंसर बीरबल सेट येस आई एम रेडी देन मुला दो प्याजा सेज टू बीरबल कि बीरबल टेल to tell me what is going on in my mind will it be possible for you to answer just just a question is it possible to answer what is going on in, in someone's mind yes or no but birbal answers and then birbal says ki i know what is going on in your mind mulla says what he said now listen all the lines properly He says, "You want Emperor Akbar to be immortal. What? Immortal, immortal. मतलब to live forever. You want Emperor Akbar to be the emperor of entire world. He was the emperor of India. Now what he is saying that you are thinking." that akbar should become the emperor of entire world you want akbar to be the most richest man in the world and then he turns towards akbar and says ki sir this is what mulla is thinking akbar turns towards mulla and says ki is it true and then mulla says ki true sir this is what i was thinking sir what is this called this approach of answering what is this called this depends on what bookish knowledge this is what you call wisdom so the most important work of education is to develop to develop what second story and last you fail to answer a very simple question to all of you who is the governor of uttarakhand Please, uh, someone note down her name. I'll give her the gift, na? She is the first winner here today. The name Dehradun comes from. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Which says? अच्छा फाइन चलो प्लीज नोट डाउन हर नेम ऑल्सो देहरादून द नेम कम्स फ्रॉम वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इकोल इट्स द नेम ऑफ यूर स्कूल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इकोल Beaten by your teachers, you all will be beat. Ah, in French language. Ha ha. Okay, okay, okay. It's a wrong answer. It's a wrong answer. Ah, leave it. Fourth question. From where does the name India comes? Where, where, where? I'm not asking the meaning. The name India comes from. Get up, get up, get up! Anyone who want, please, 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 please. The Indus River. Uh, correct. I am asking the source from where this name comes. Uh, who was the first man to coin this term? Oh, thank you. You are noting out down all the questions now. Now the next question. Dehradun is situated between two rivers. Anyone here sitting who can tell me the name of those two rivers? Ah? No, no. I want the name of the tributary of Ganga and Yamuna. Definitely Ganga and Yamuna, but tributaries. But it's not here, Bita Gangotri and Yamuna. It's a glacier. It's not a river. 
Fine, 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 it's okay. Shall I? Ah, oh, yes, yes, you want to do it. Song and? When you do it. Song is the tributary of Ganga. Fine. Who is operating here? Please, Bitter. First thing to develop wisdom is, let's start that video which I have given. What is written there? See, see, see. is the mother of knowledge. You know what is the meaning of Ecole? It's your school. Great institution. What do you think? Everything will be taught in the class. What do you will do with this head which is on your body? In French, the term Ecole means great institution. Dehradun, the term Dehradun, right when you gave that answer, Dehradun. Dera is a word. Dera means camp. And Dun means valley. Seventh Sikh Guru, Guru Ram Rai, he established his camp here. That is Dera. So camp in a valley. That is Dehradun. So Dehradun, because of Britishers, became Dehradun. 1676. Dehradun is situated in between the tributaries of Ganga and Yamuna. Song and Asan. Song is a tributary of Ganga and Asan is a tributary of Yamuna. You answered it correct. That India comes from Indus. Correct. The land of river Indus. But the man who coined it for the first time was Megasthenes. It, it was a tough question. I accept it. Megasthenes, he wrote a book called Indica. That is the story of the people living beyond in this river. If you want to develop your wisdom, the first thing you have to do is curiosity. Everything you will not learn in the books or the school. You have to make your mind alive. So what is the second thing required to develop wisdom? Simplification of concepts. In every school, you do a classwork, school, and then you are asked to do homework. What is that homework? To turn your concepts into simple terms. You heard this Ashoka's Dhamma, Akbar's Dine Ilahi. Get up. You get up. Yes. What was the necessity for this? He's not a leader. Leaders we have today. He was an emperor. Why? Why this Dhamma? You see, there is a physical map of India in between. What is the relevancy of this map? Excuse me, sir. Sir, Ashoka Dhamma, Ashoka created Dhamma as a rules to respect elders and uh, to be polite with the poor. Anyone else? If you will mug up the things, you will... There are two characters in this scene. One is Rancho, other is Chaturlingam. He has mugged up everything. You see his expression? He's tense. He's trying to remember. He's rotating his eyeballs. Mugging up creates stress. But when you simplify the concepts, you understand. And when you understand, you don't have to mug up the things. Is there any relation of Dhamma with this map of India? Do the culture of Northeast is similar to the culture of UP? Dressing and all? No. The culture of UP is similar to Northeast? 
the culture of andhra is similar to northeast dressing food and all no why because culture depends upon geography a person from a kashmir kashmir is a mountainous region and a Kash person from tamil nadu coastal region will there be a difference between the culture of both of them culture depends upon during the time of ashoka this entire subcontinent was under him so he has to handle a population of diversity yes or no so when you have to handle a territory of diversity you have to create certain common rules to bind that diversity otherwise people will fight among each other and tension in a family and tension in a nation is always suicidal see today hindu muslim christian there is a tension among all these three four people similarly there was a tension in ancient india buddhist jainas mahavira he has to control that tension so he comes out with principle of dhamma this is called as simplification of concept the same situation was faced by akbar in medieval india he was also holding a huge territory of this country diversified territory and what is the basic principle of this country unity in diversity i said in the beginning of this session it's a interaction we all will talk to each other don't worry and in future when you will come out from this school i tell you one thing very clearly this life is full of challenges and if you don't have wisdom wisdom is a you know when those people who were performing here who was performing krishna and uh, arjun she used the term divya drishti divya drishti means what a light within you which shows you the path in every darkness and that light is called as wisdom vivekananda went to france a priest met him and said swami he said yes he said you speak on everything you speak on religion you speak on uh, atma you speak on religious text and you speak on zero you know what was the term given to him in america zero he said yes it's a god's blessing i can speak on anything so that priest said to him but i know very well that if i give you a term you will not be able to speak vivekanand said sir please give he said shoes speak on shoes anyone who can speak five lines on shoes ha bhai udhar last last row last row I just give it to her last row behind the principal map shoes are of different colors shoes are of different size um they can be of different types like You got three out of ten. Anyone else will try? Please, please, please give it to her. In log and naam, please just note down the names of these people who are answering. Hi, ah, yes, please, yes, please. Continue. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. vivekananda replied he said shoes act as a award award he said yes one who kicks a good number of goals in football matches especially in world cup 
he gets a golden boot so shoes is a award second thing he said ki shoes is a medicine the medicine ha uh, yes there is a hindi term for a disease called mirgi hysteria something like hysteria people lie down and then they start shivering to unko shoes diya jata hai ki just bring the shoes closer to the nose to give the feeling of the shoes so shoes is a medicine shoes is a word shoes is a medicine those who don't understand the general language they are beaten so for them shoe is a friend kehte hain joote ka yaar hai so shoe is a friend when ram was going to jungle he handed over his shoes to bharat that shoes were kept on the throne for 14 years as a ruler so shoes are kings this is a definition of a awakened mind first thing required curiosity second thing required simplification you should have simplified you should have tried to find out why why they are telling all these things to us tomorrow you are going to lead this diversified country you will require this knowledge is not simply to give the examination come out and live in the world no it's a part of your life so first thing curiosity second thing simplification of concepts third handle the challenge which is the integral part of life and ambition this life means a challenge some of you must be struggling here to adjust yourself and this situation is everywhere see when they turned all of them now see how the three of them will behave just see how the three of them are behaving and pay attention on rancho please raju and farhan just see their psychological status just see the faces of farhan face of farhan and then see the face of raju and see the face of rancho you will find the express three different expressions a confident expression he is not afraid he is saying i am on the on behalf of science i have been invited on behalf of and he is not only saying you see how he gives the answer for that these three ladies this is honorable president of india mrs draupadi murmu ji our president if you read her history her background she is from a very common background from a tribe and if you read about her past her husband her son all of them died almost her entire family died almost but you know what brought her to this top level wisdom i have left the last space is for you the second lady the most known face among women achievers in india she is a lady ips officer who stopped the car of indian prime minister indian prime minister she was informed ki you are breaking the protocol she is a prime minister she said i am doing my duty she was awarded for that she was governor of pondicherry a very great tennis player social reformer author indra gandhi one of the most famous leader in the world not politician politician is a different word in every school when i was in my school my teachers were my enemies it happens everywhere teachers always want to give you the good things the excellent thing it's your potential what you take out from the teachers you have got a very good opportunity to create yourself next time it's a very good time hardly i think hardly all of you sitting in this class hardly the maximum age of hardly anyone sitting here must be 16 so when you will complete your graduation it will be you will be around uh, 20 21 22 and that will be the time when all the vistas of life will be open for you and you know what will help you your wisdom and who will generate that wisdom the best medium to generate the wisdom is education 
but that education should be governed by four pillars first pillar curiosity second pillar simplification third pillar observation and fourth truly short of words it was an absolute pleasure listening to you you would now like to open the session for questions i call upon ma'am lippy to moderate the question answer session she will be assisted by her team of audio jockeys Please come to us. Thank you. If you remember me, I have been your student. Welcome, sir. मेरे लिए बहुत खुशी का अवसर है कि आज इस कार्यक्रम के जरिए मुझे आपसे बातचीत करने का मौका मिल रहा है और यकीनन बहुत कुछ सीखने का भी मौका मिलेगा. आज के समय में ये बात कहना गलत नहीं है कि कोई भी इस बात से अनजान नहीं है कि मिस्टर अवधोजा कौन है और क्या कंट्रीब्यूशन है उनका युवाओं की जिंदगी में स्पेशली अगर हम बात करें यू पी की मेरा पर्सनली ये मानना है माफ़ कीजिएगा अगर मैं गलत हूँ पर आज के शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में अवध ऊर्जा क्रांति का दूसरा नाम है तो आपका क्या कहना है इस बारे में एज अ प्रिंसिपल मैम सेड वेन शी वॉज एड्रेसिंग यू दैट आई हैड अ वेरी ऑड लाइफ जर्नी आई वॉज नॉट फॉन्ड ऑफ स्टडी आई वॉज नॉट फॉन्ड ऑफ स्टडिंग बट इन अवर इंडियन कल्चर इफ यू डोंट स्टडी यूल बी बीटन फ्रॉम टू साइड्स फर्स्ट साइड पेरेंट्स and second aside teachers my father is a noble man mother very lethal i will use this word lethal and her task every day was to beat me at minimum 10 slaps <laughs> and i have made up my mind i will not study you beat me as you can but slowly slowly i qualified my 10 plus 2 i came out of school to my it was my bad luck i failed to understand the importance of education in my school life if i would have understood it in my school life in your age possibly i would have occupied this country till now education is such a powerful thing i have really done a blunder in my life but then i was lucky i got very good professors in university and there i learned all these things what i was telling you here curiosity observation simplification and when i saw this movie three idiot i i don't see students being happy for classes as it happened with me you should be happy it's going to change your life this is what this movie says three idiot ki when you are going to a class you should be happy you see small children If you just go and say mall, two baje raat me. Agar tum kisi bache ke kaan me bolo mall, utke khada ho jayega. Kaha? Jo mall jaane ke liye khush hai, wo school jaane ke liye kyon khush nahi hai? Because, because education has created pressure. You can become anything in your life, and I have told you today. The co- what is the core word? Wisdom. So now the one and only goal of my life is I'm going to open my school very soon. Possibly the work will start in this December. And uh, in Bihar, not here in Dehradun. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Then it will be a competition for us. And the only thing I want to make a change in education is I want to cr- make it so much interesting. ki when the parents will say to their children's school at 3 am in the morning they will be ready within 5 minutes and this will create a revolution in this country definitely okay yeah. uh, based on your point of observation i remember this one time in class when students were complaining about the lack of focus and we don't even see this only in students but also in a lot of people like we could be a victim of it sometimes so i remember this line uh, from you that aapne kaha tha ki agar man lagega to uljhega nahi aur agar uljhega to phir lagega nahi so can you please enlighten us on that uh, definitely mind uh, is the biggest gift of god to a human being mind possibly you are too small you may not be able to connect but but at this tender age if you understand mind 
वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू इन योर लाइफ द डोर फॉर एवरी थिंग इज माइंड एंड इफ यू स्टार्ट कंट्रोलिंग दिस माइंड माई यंगेस्ट डॉटर इज यर यंगेस्ट एंड वेन आई केम हियर एंड आई आस्ड हर कि कोई प्रॉब्लम है बेटा तो बोली पापा तुम ही तो कहते हो कि दुनिया में प्रॉब्लम हर जगह है मैंने कहा हाँ तो बोलती अब मुझे खुद को चेक करना है कि वेदर आई एम एबल टू हैंडल और नॉट मैंने कहा याद आती है हमारी बोली तुम्हारी ज्यादा याद आएगी तो क्लास कैसे याद रहेगी तुमको बस एक काम करना है एक इफ यू वॉच योर सेल्फ दिस इज वॉट लेट टू द बर्थ ऑफ अ वेरी नोबल थिंग इन दिस कंट्री मेडिटेशन यू नो वॉट इज मेडिटेशन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल टर्म मेडिटेशन मीन्स टू वॉच योर सेल्फ दो कंसेंट्रेट ऑन अदर्स दे बिकम क्लर्स चपरासीज एंड दो ओनली कंसेंट्रेट ऑन दम सेल्फ दे बिकम किंग द प्रेजेंट एग्जाम्पल our president and our prime minister both of them are from a very common background both of them what is the main force mind and you can know the status of your mind only when you close your eyes so every religion goes for worship by closing the eyes there is no religion in this world which says open your eye and worship you can sit with open eyes for 40 hours 40 50 but you cannot sit with closed eyes for 10 minutes and the day you will start sitting with closed eyes for an hour only you will be able to do anything in this world sitting for an hour with a closed eye means you have no distraction outside when you close your eyes what happens to you you start remembering your family your enemies your friends and then your mind disturbs you you get up you idiot what are you doing but if you can sit for one hour with a closed eyes that means calm quiet peace you performed on lord krishna there is a character in mahabharat duryodhan who is duryodhan a person of a unstable mind in spite of all the potential he lost the battle and on the other side lord krishna he is a person of a stable mind so meditation helps you to be away from distraction use your mind use yourself and then next time after 4 5 6 years when i will go to any other school i will show your picture here psychology is a subject developed in west and meditation is a subject developed in india the simple thing you have to do is you have to get away from distraction you talk you uh, many of you travel in planes and all you see there are classes economy class pre mein economy business class the same classes in trains ac first class ac second class ac third class sleeper general next time when you see a train just do a experiment try to enter in a general class possibly you won't be able there is no possibility there is a sitting arrangement of 80 people but 900 people sit in the compartment 900 you'll see three four hands and then a face coming out of that hand people chewing a pan and spitting in the pocket of the other person they cannot go out and you know when you sit in that compartment everyone just murmurs and talks and talks and no one knows each other but when you sit in first class rarity of rare a person in sitting in front of you will interact with you rarity of rare he will have a magazine business standard economic times 
or some historical novel. There is a rare chance that a person sitting in a first class AC will interact. There is a possibility that in the morning he'll look at you and smile. Finish. But in general class, what has created the difference? The use of mind. You can travel to US in just 50,000 rupees. 60. You can take economic class ticket seven months back and you can travel from Delhi to Chicago, 60,000. But business class, six lakh. You know why? They give you a privacy of 18 hours. Those who pay that six lakh to travel for 18 hours, they use that 18 hours for themselves. Look at that. Or a boy, when you can go to 60,000, then why do you pay 6,000,000? 6 lakh rupees, no, 18 ghante. For a poor person, what is wealth? Money. For a rich person, what is wealth? Time. So when you go today, just watch yourself. Ki mein kya soch rahi hu? Note it down in your diary. You have been taught many things in the class. If you are not thinking about that, you are in a wrong direction. Please. Just improve your direction and you will become great. Definitely. So we can say meditation is the mantra for good focus. Right. But sir, like you mentioned that, you know, um, when we go in a general class, in a train, so you, uh, you get to interact with a lot of people. And I think from there, a lot of ideas also come, which happened during the time of independence, also before independence, that the leaders used to meet common people and uh, that was the region that uh, they shared ideas with each other and got to know about each other's places, that what is happening in, you know, uh, South India and what is happening in North India. So that was also, in a way, helpful for the independence of our country. So we can say that interaction definitely helps us in exchanging ideas. My uh, next question to you is uh, related to your idea of opening a school. Um, is there any subject uh, in your mind which is currently not a part of our curriculum but you would want to add it if given a chance? Definitely, definitely. I want uh, government of India. I have met all, almost all the big leaders here in this country, mm. and I want all of them to compulsorily introduce yoga and meditation in our curriculum. Mm. Compulsorily, a healthy body and a healthy mind. Mm. This is our USP in the world. We are the people who emphasize on meditation. Mm. And our children, well, India is a country where there should be no depression. But today, the largest number of depressed youth is in this country. Mm. Because they are not able to manage themselves. Mm. So I request uh, to the government of India and all state governments that they should compulsorily introduce yoga and meditation in their curriculum. Right. Okay, so since you are a teacher of history and I know that you have a very good knowledge of a lot of cultures, is there anything which Indians can learn from other cultures and one thing that people from abroad can learn from our Indian culture? Your school has basically origin from France. Hmm. And the most important development of French history is French Revolution. Hmm. Anyone here who read about French Revolution? Oh, great. Can tell me, anyone tell me in one line what was that revolution? And what is the gift of that revolution to the world? <laughs> what happened after that nation state? What happened because of that? <laughs> exactly. The French Revolution is the revolution in the world which emphasized for the first time in the history of the world the empowerment of common people, citizen. What? Liberty, equality, fraternity. The West today right. is the epitome of rationalism. Mm. See, we cannot discard anyone in this world. Mm. It's not that we are great and others are inferior. No. Right. When we say we are great, that means ki we have to see the good things in our culture 
But then the other things which are present in the other cultures, we can take rationalism from other cultures. I, when I started the class, I asked you why United States of America is a power and many of the girls started answering in the mm. class. So who turned them into a power? Rationalism. This is what we can take from the West. Yeah. Education based on rationalism. So there are the countries which can give us a lot of things. So rationalism is one of them. And one thing that they can take from mm. our Indian culture? They should take meditation from us. We will take rationalism from this, them. Hmm. We will take rationalism from them. And they will take meditation from us. And hmm. this will be a pure interchange of cultures. Okay. Being a UPSC coach, uh, what right time is for a UPSC aspirant to get into the preparation of it? And also the correct time to get out of it. Because we have seen a lot of young people spending six uh, years of their life, or maybe more than that, years of their life, young life, uh, into the preparation of UPSC, and then at the end not getting anything out of it. So, what is the correct time to get into the preparation, and also to get out of the preparation? See, once you are out of your school, you should definitely join join your colleges and university. Hmm. It's a very good place, college and university. You get a uh, lots of experience there. Plus, you live a very good life, and the first time. For the first time in your life, you will be able to neglect discipline, which is a big enjoyment in life. What is the pain? Discipline. Discipline is the fundamental principle of family. Discipline is a fundamental principle of school. I can understand that you all must be saying ki, Aray bhaiya, school mein toh badi problem hai. Koi problem nahi. They, all of the people here, they are creating a life. But when you go into college, there is, are no school dresses, I think, in college. No. dress You can wear anything. No one will stop you. So the first thing you get, neglection of discipline. Second thing, you participate in extracurricular activities. Example, politics, student union. Then you face multiple things in school, and uh, colleges and university. So you should go there. The right time to start your preparation is graduation second year. Hmm. First year, be the part. You start your UPSC preparation from graduation second year. Second year, third year. Two years are there. Complete your preparation, fundamentals, and then advanced course. Once you're prepared, then you do the third thing, Practice session for a year, prelims and mains. Mm. And then go for the first attempt, appear. After these three year hard practice, then you appear in the examination. Don't go for a trial. I've seen many people who go for a trial. Don't do that. Ki papa keh rahe te ki ek bar exam de kar dekh lo. Ek bar shadi kar ke bhi dekh lo. Ye sab dekhne wakne wali baat nahi. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, go for a war, just give the first attempt. Possibly, by God's blessing, you will qualify. In case, see, preparation is done only once, but revision can be done continuously. So, ek baar tumne teen saal ki preparation ki, ab preparation nahi karni. You appear the first attempt. If you stopped on the last phase, and your parents say to you, ki beta hum afford karein, koi baat nahi, ek attempt aur de do. So you should go for the second attempt. Mm. In case, in case, God wants, God is willing something else for you. Ham to chaate the IS banna, par Bhagwan ko mujhe teacher banana tha. Banana diya usse. There will be two things in your life. Tum kuch banna chaoge, ban kuch aur jaoge. A P J Kalam. He wanted to be an Air Force pilot. He became a scientist. Once you appeared for the second attempt, and in case you stop in the second attempt, then you choose the second option. Torant. Mala pachas saal ke baad, maximum, tayari nahi karni. Fir apna koi carrier choose karna, you have to work there. Your attempt is still 32. So only by revision you can go and give the examination. 
सो देर इज नो नीड टू वेस्ट योर प्रेशियस इयर्स बिकॉज इन एवरीथिंग अब तुम अगर एम बी ए करते हो तो भी तुम्हें यू विल रिक्वायर फाइव ईयर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द लूप होल्स ऑफ बिजनेस ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स तो बस दो अटेम्प्ट सीरियसली देना है उसमें हो जाएगा आपने अभी कहा कि तुम बनना कुछ चाहोगे और बन कुछ और जाओगे तो बहुत बार ये कंसिडर किया जाता है दैट पीपल यूजुअली टेक टीचिंग एज देर सेकेंड ऑप्शन ऑल्सो टीचिंग इज कंसिडर टू बी एन अनपॉपुलर करियर चॉइस स्पेशली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द यंग अडल्ट ऑफ टूडे सो डू यू थिंक एज अ सोसाइटी वी कैन चेंज दिस थिंकिंग फॉर पास्ट सिक्स ईयर्स आई एम फाइटिंग फॉर अ कॉज इन दिस कंट्री आई वॉन्ट all the teachers in this country especially school teachers not coaching teachers right. school i want all school teachers of this country to get a vip status you know why the most important thing a teacher requires is respect mm. this is the hunger of a teacher and india is a country where there is no respect for teachers true i have seen multiple times ki when i went to meet someone so they introduced me yaar wo teacher hai this was the expression they used to give now they don't do all these things but initially if i used to go to meet anyone like this mil raha are sab teacher and i broke all those things i refuse i never take selfie with anyone never even if i will meet the prime minister of this country then also i will not take because the highest position in this country or in any country is of teacher and japan is a country where teachers are the only vvips in the nation and see their contribution yes so the day this will happen ki teachers will get a respectable position officially hmm. they are going to get give extra contribution to their career and right. that will help the nation to grow True. so this is what i want and i am i am already fighting for it i have given proposal to different governments even to send education is a state subject right health is a state subject right. police is a state subject right. education is a state subject so i have met many chief ministers and all and i have said to them i, I have tell, told them why ha huh. ki why 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 this is important for us hmm. simply a status ki for teacher goes to a railway station to have a ticket and he shows his card ki i am a teacher he gets the first preference to get the ticket that much i don't want the government to pay for that ticket no the teacher will pay but if if he, sim, he or she shows the card ki chemistry teacher equal global <laughs> immediate preference ki sir please no i am not talking about chemistry teacher i was simply giving <laughs> example so this is i want in this country to happen i, I think if this happens it will change the dimension of teaching and the teachers in this country definitely and in some way it will also change our thinking about teachers um aapne life mein already bahut kuch achieve kar liya hai aisa kuch hai jo abhi aap um, life mein achieve karna chahte hain ya agle 5 saal mein aap achieve karna chahte hain aapka koi target hai मेरी जब शादी हुई तो मैंने अपनी वाइफ से बोला कि देखो भैया बेटियां पैदा होंगी तो तुमको सोने का हार दूंगा एंड बाय गॉड्स ब्लेसिंग माय वाइफ इज आल्सो सिंग और अगर बेटा पैदा हुआ तो मारेंगे बहुत ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए था मुझे पर मुझे पता था कि बेटियां जिस घर में पैदा होती हैं ना उस घर का इतिहास बदल देती हैं एंड बाई गॉड्स ग्रेस I got three daughters. तो तीन बार हार मिला फिर तीन बार हार मिला उन्हें <laughs> जब पहली बार पहली बेटी पैदा हुई तो मैंने एक गाड़ी खरीदी फिर दूसरी पैदा हुई फिर मैंने चार गाड़ी खरीदी फिर तीसरी अब तो फ्लीट है वॉट एवर आई हैव इज अ ब्लेसिंग ऑफ ऑल माई टी आई एम थैंकफुल टू ऑल माई टिंग फॉर हैविंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड आई से Uh, i say this to all the parents who have daughters ki i have never seen a parent in a old age home who has daughters 
So I request to all of you sitting here, that you are the proud of your fathers. You all are the proud of your parents, but especially you all are the proud of your fathers, and maintain it till you are alive. Because once people have daughters, I don't think they would want anything else. So when my daughters came here, the big pain was for me because they used to ask me, "Papa, dawa khaliya? Papa, ye galliya? Papa, chabi wahan rakhi hai? Papa, aisa gallo?" We understand, sir. Beetiyo ko ghar se dur bhejte hue dukh to hota hai, but I'm sure they are in a good place and they'll be learning a lot of new things here. And that is your goal also for them. Um, now I would request the students if they have any questions, they can ask Oja sir. You know, I'm sure they have. Ah, yes, yes. Please. We have the first one. Easy question, Pushna. Easy. Beta, you said, you see, you have only given the answer. Kabir was uneducated, but he had wisdom. You are working. If a person is reaching somewhere, which is considered as a good destination in this world, that means, that means he has some inner potential. I understood you are pointing to the uh, politicians and the leaders. Many of them have not gone to school, but that doesn't matter. Wisdom, the big source of wisdom is education. But education is not the only source. There are people in this world who never went to school, but they were inborn. They had a talent of inborn. Kabir, the best example in Indian culture. He was a weaver. He never went to school. And in Philadelphia University of America, there is a doctorate on him. He used to see the things and write. For example, I tell you, he saw that date tree, date, and he wrote a couple of slokas, dohas. Bada hua to kya hua? Jaise peel khajur. See, he is attacking on the rich people. Ki if your richness cannot benefit the society. Your richness is a waste. How he explains in the simple and a common word? Bada hua to kya hua? Jaise peel khajur, panchi ko chaya nahi, phal lagya ti dur. You cannot give a shadow to a bird and your fruits. So what get respect? What gets respect in this world? Wisdom. Don't say you are working under uneducated people. You are working under wise people. And then. The best thing you can do, you can enter into UPSC civil service, and then you can become Subhash Chand Bose. Resign, join politics, and sit in the Indian Parliament like our present Railway Minister, Mr. Ashwini Varshane. He was an IAS officer. He is a Railway Minister today. So you have a very good option there. Don't worry. Fine. Sure. Sure. We, bit of when we were born, 1947, there was a group of historians called Strachians. Strachians. So they said, Strachians, that this country will not survive for more than five years. And one of them was Robert Dull. He was an editor in that newspaper Dawn from England. The second was Rudyard Kipling. These were the Western intellectuals who said that this country is suffering from poverty. There is no food in this country. There is no industry. There is so much diversity. Within five years, the country will be scattered. Khatam ho jayegi. But in spite of all the odds, we are the second largest democracy in the world in the last 75 years. This is the biggest achievement of India. मतलब एक कंट्री एक बच्चा पैदा हुआ और वो बच्चा को जॉन्डिस है। He has a water in his lungs. He has the symptoms of fever glasses. He has the symptom of blood cancer. What doctor will say? Doctor uses two D. One is दवा, other is दुआ. What doctors will say? कि दुआ करो. But that child not only survives but becomes the fifth largest economy in the world. Today we are the fifth largest economy in the world, aspiring to become 
the third largest. This is the second achievement of this country. And the latest achievement, Chandrayaan 3. America was born in which year? 1787. America became a superpower in which year? 1945. How many centuries? Two centuries. 200 years. It took 200 years to United States of America to become a power. We have passed just 75 years and we are a political and economic power. In 2050, we are going to be a world power. On all the fronts, and that responsibility is on your shoulder. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay, uh, sir, how do you, I mean, do you or you do not agree with reservations? <laughs> She's asking about reservations. Do you? Reservation? Oh. <laughs> this is reservation a... is a very good thing. Listen, how? Listen. Don't, don't get angry, listen. No need to be disappointed, no need to be angry, listen. There was a section in India who had no privileges till independence. India is for Indians. Yes or no? We all are Indians. And if you have four sisters in a family and two of you are IS officers, so you too will be happy. The third one is a beggar. The fourth one is a chaprasi. Do you think there will be a cohesion in the family? No. If you want that family to be united and strong, all the four should have a good position. So when India became independent, there were sections in this country, including women. If I ask you, he who was the first man to open a woman's school in this country, no one of you will be able to answer. Anyone? See? I tell you, reservation is a tool to bring backward section in the mainstream of the society. So on that front, it should never be opposed. First point. Second point. If reservation is a pain for upper caste, caste system is a pain for a lower caste. If you want to end reservation in this country, start fighting against caste system. Once caste system will die, the reservation on the basis of caste system will also die. And then there will be a reservation on economic grounds. And that will be beneficial for this country to bring all downtrodden section into the mainstream of the society. And this is what we need for a Sarvodaya concept. Universal upliftment. Sabka saath. Sabka vikas. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Passion, hobby, employment, all the three are different. You can be an IS officer and a dancer also. You differentiate and segregate. Generally, majority of us belong to a middle class. And what is the fear of a parents? To establish you in their lifetime. They know the population of this country is 1 billion 50 crores. If you want to live in this country with respect, you have to come into power at any cost. So if your passion is to become a musician, very good. You see the uh, IS officer L.Y. Suhas from Noida. He's a international badminton champion. He won a Olympic gold. So let your passion survive in you, but not with a compromise with your career. Be attentive on your career and enjoy your passion. 
If you do this, and once you establish yourself in your career, there will be no one to stop you. Next time when I'll come, I'll bring a lady. She's an IS officer, 23 year old, from a rural area of this country, and from a very common family. And when she qualified this examination, she came to me after three months and said, hey, "Sir, a special thanks to you." I said, "Why?" She said, "You said in the class that a woman can live an independent life in this country only when she can come into power." I said, "Yes." She said, "I am living it." Twenty-three years of age, she says, "No one comes and creates any obstacle in my life." She is a collector. You want to be a player in this country? Very good. Make a play. Who has You know, the main reason my daughters are here, I want them to play. And you have such good coaches here in your school. Not only coaches, teachers also. You enjoy your passion and enjoy your career. Don't fight from the career. Don't fight from the two sides. Your life will become easy. Yes. I'll repeat my question. Good afternoon, sir. Many times while motivating us, people tell us you should do something to prove the haters wrong. You should do something to prove others wrong. So is that the right approach to look at the life? Better you start shining, everyone will start worshipping you. This is what we learn from sun. You should become a star. जब तक अंधेरा है ना, तभी तक लोग तुम्हें मारेंगे. Once you start shining, you know what is the difference between a lion and a dog? A dog barks every moment, and you cannot reply. This is what talent means. Talent means what? Enjoying every hurdle happily. आप छोटे-छोटे बात पे रोने लगते हो? हमारी डोमेट ने ऐसा कह दिया कहा होगा इट्स नॉट अ न्यू फॉर एनी वन सबके साथ होता है और कल जब तुम कुछ बड़ा करोगे इस कंट्री में यू नो व्हाट योर राइवल्स विल कम एंड से कि मेरी तो सबसे अच्छी दोस्त थी एक बार मुझे चाटा मारा तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा था एंड दिस इज द वे हाउ पीपल कम एंड मेक रिलेशन विद यू वेन यू सक्सीड Thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful session. We have got a lot of support from you. We want to inspire you in this way, motivate you, and motivate you to talk to us about this kind of talk. Thank you once again. Do you want the books? Yes, I'll give you. Give it to me. Is your name? Yes, that's it. Harshita Simone Shubhi. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Harshita Simone Shubhi. Nandini. Navra Gulati. Jia. Shreya Asati. Alankrita. Manya. Please put us. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Thanks to principal, ma'am, vice principal, and all the honorable teachers sitting here. And thanks to all my daughters to patiently listening to me. So hopefully, hopefully, you enjoyed this session. Thank you. Thanks a lot.